Hey y'all, it's Saiba and welcome to my YouTube channel. I decided to make this YouTube channel to inspire future doctors and give some insight about the pre-vet and veterinary student life. Before I get started though, I want to give a huge shout out to Dr. John with Vet Vlogs for helping me get this YouTube channel started and teaching me all the ropes. He's a great resource for you guys, so I highly recommend for you to go check out his channel at Vet Vlogs. And let's get started to how I got that acceptance letter. I believe I was accepted to vet school for four main reasons. One being grades, one being my experiences, my interview, and being proactive throughout the entire journey. So in this video, I'll be talking about how my grades have made me successful in the application process. So first of all, I do want to say that my grades were not perfect. They were nowhere near a 4.0. I had a 3.56 overall GPA and a 3.0 science GPA. So my grades were seen as not really that competitive but this is how I was able to make it a strength for my application because in reality grades are so important and you have to show academic success in your application. So I was able to turn around my below average grades into a strength. I was able to do that by first positive grade trends. Early in college I received a lot of C's as I was trying to get a hold of my transition from high school to vet school, or I'm sorry, to, uh, to college. So it took a while for me to master that, but I was able to start with, you know, lower grades like C's and go up all the way to better grades, more A's, um, and less B's and C's. Veterinary schools love to see that because it shows that you were able to master your courses, you know, it wasn't an easy ride for you, it was hard for you, and you were able to get a grip of it and do well. Because vet school, I haven't heard anyone say it was easy for anyone, so I think that sh being able to show your resilience with your academics is going to be a strength for your application. I also added additional science classes. Um, this included my minor in biochemistry um, to add on harder science classes because it's, it's one thing to retake a class and master it and another thing to take a new harder upper level science class and master it. So I was able to show my ability to master these harder classes by adding on additional classes that were not on my transcript or not on my degree plan. So even though I majored in animal science that fulfilled all of the prereqs um, for veterinary school, I still added on additional classes and tried to achieve the highest grade for those classes. So I went ahead and threw on the biochemistry minor to add on more upper level harder science classes. Next, I asked one of my science professors to write me a letter of recommendation for vet school to really show my qualifications as a student despite my below average grades. And I believe this helped me because it can show your work ethics, your qualifications as a student, and really your personality, how you try, you show up to office hours, and ask questions in class, and it really does make you seem like a better student besides that you just didn't really care about class like it shows that you tried hard and maybe you earned a B or a C and you know you did your best so they like to see your qualifications as a student but make sure that they will write you a positive letter of recommendation before they before you agree to have them as a um, a letter of recommendation so Talk to your professors, get to know one of them, and see if they will be able to write you a good one, and that may help you a lot. Also, use the GRE as a potential to improve your academic standing. Um, I was able to do this. I studied really hard for the GRE. I don't like standardized tests. Um, I do poorly on them, to be honest, or average, and 
if you are able to do good on this, it might be able to boost that part of your application. I know a lot of schools grade 50% academics and the other 50% your experiences. So the higher that portion is, the better your chances. And for schools that do require the GRE, use that to improve that part of your application. So even though that this part, my grades and my academics were not necessarily like my strongest part of the application. Like in reality, this is so important for vet school admissions. They want to see that you can do good in school and that you're a good student because in the end, it is veterinary school. So being able to show that you're a good student and even though if you have a hard time, you will, you'll be able to push through and master those classes because veterinary school is hard, as I've heard. So you gotta prepare for it and practice studying those uh, great study habits. So even if you don't have the best grades, you can still use your grades or your academics as a strength for your application. I'll recap, so you should have positive grade trends. You can add additional upper level science classes once you get a hold of how to master college. You can ask one of your science professors to write you a positive letter recommendation to show your qualifications as a student, as well as use the GRE as another boost to that part of your application by studying in advance for it. And don't forget to use the essay part of your VimCast. There's a part on VimCast where you can explain any um, challenges you come through through college, so if you had to go through an illness or the death of a family member, there is a part on the VEMCAS application as well as the TENDOS application where you can discuss those, um, those parts of your life and be able to explain maybe why this semester you had a rough, um, rough semester. So there is a way to get through this, but you have to make sure your grades show your academic success for veterinary school. And I hope this helps for those of you who may have lower grades and think that you're, it's, you're, it's over, you can't get into vet school. That's not true. I was able to do it with a 3 science GPA and that it's not competitive. So by taking these tips, I hope you'll be able to get that acceptance letter. Don't forget to check out Dr. John's YouTube channel called Vet Vlogs. And thank you so much for helping me get this YouTube channel going. If you guys like this content, please give a like, show some love, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those notifications so you can hear when the next video comes out about the experiences portion. And I believe I had a bunch of unique experiences that you guys will be excited to learn about. So I also have an Instagram at Dr. Saida, and I received a lot of great advice from other accepted veterinary students about the academics portion of the application so feel free to check it out and read through the comments so thank you for listening to my first youtube video this concludes part one of the grades portion of why i was accepted into vet school and in my next videos i'll be going over my experiences that led me to my acceptance how my interview went and the proactiveness that i was able to use throughout my journey that i believe in the end helped me get into vet school so stay tuned for that and thanks for watching.